Welcome everybody, this is where we get to know a little bit about those wanting to represent Trinidad and Tobago in the Miss World competition. We have with us Isabel Bisnap, 25 years old, Miss Port of Spain West. Welcome. Hi, how are you? I am fantastic, how are you? I'm fine. It's an absolute pleasure having you with us here to chat a little bit about yourself. Thank you so much, I'm very grateful for the opportunity. So I want to start by asking you to give me a little bit of information about you, where did you come from and where you are today? Okay, well I grew up in Port of Spain. Mm -hmm. I went to Maria Regina grade school and after that to St. Joseph's Convent. I won an open scholarship which I accepted to read law at Oxford University and after that I was called to the bar. I became a barrister. I did my masters in London and I came back to Trinidad to start practicing. Wow, that's a lot. That, that, that's a lot. So you are practicing attorney now? Yes, I work with the Ministry of Education. Ah, and how was that? It's been great. I've been really enjoying the experience so far. I've just started. I started in March. Oh, so it's a new experience. It's a new experience. And before, I worked in the private sector mostly. So this is my first time dealing with public sector work and the administrative processes there. So it's been a real learning experience. I, mean, I want to ask you about your, you getting into this Miss World competition. But first, mm -hmm. I need to ask you, why law? I wanted something that was empowering and that I could use to give back to people. Mm -hmm. At that point, I, I, when I was 18, I had no idea what I wanted to specialise in, to say that I wanted to go in a particular direction or do this particular Masters. But I had a sense that I wanted to go into a profession that would enable me to help other people. And for me, law seemed like a good fit because it's challenging, it's intellectually rigorous, and you can work in a variety of different fields with it. So, from a lawyer, you want to represent Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. at the Miss World competition. Why, first of all, did you mm -hmm. put yourself up in this competition? Well, with me, it was very much a product of time and circumstance. I had finished my academic qualifications mm -hmm. and I'd come back to Trinidad to start working again. And I'd recently become involved in my own charity. And I thought that the Miss World pageant would be a great opportunity to promote it, that I could use the Beauty with a Purpose platform to work with my charity and to promote those causes throughout Trinidad. Well, tell me a little bit more about the charity. Well, my charity is called For the Love of Reading TT. Mm -hmm. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook. It provides free community spaces for books to be shared and donated. Why is such a charity? I felt that it was important to promote literacy in Trinidad and access to education. I benefited from this education system and I was able to go to one of the oldest academic institutions mm -hmm. in the world to study. I was very fortunate to do that, I was very privileged to be able to have that experience and I want every single person in Trinidad to be able to reach for the stars, let nothing stop you. We should not have a question of limited access to resources preventing us from reaching the, the greatest heights possible. But you've already started this charity? Yes. But now you want to get an additional platform to, to push it? Yes, I wanted to use the Miss World pl right. platform, the exposure afforded to me by that platform to promote it, in addition to the charity that Miss World has chosen for us to go forward with. Right. And, and I ask that because I know some people may or may not just get mm -hmm. into it because you know that is what they have to do. Mm -hmm. But you have a clear passion for this. Yes. And it's something that you would continue to do even if you don't win the competition? Yes, of course. It was something that I started before the pageant and it's certainly something that I would continue afterwards. And of course, if the facilitators need additional help with their own charity, I would love to be able to help and be involved in that as well. What does Beauty with a Purpose really mean to you? It means engaging with other people, first and foremost. Using empathy and compassion to give back. And you think you've been able to do that with the work that you've been doing? Undoubtedly. I think we've been given a lot of opportunities to promote um, our charity and our uh -huh. platform and use it in the best possible way to reach Trinidad. What has been the reception like for you since you've been involved in this Miss World competition? I think it's been very positive. Most people seemed a bit intrigued at first. Why would you as a, a lawyer, which is seen as a very conservative mm -hmm. profession in Trinidad, want to be involved in a beauty pageant. But the more that I speak to people and the more that I discuss with them the beauty with a purpose element of Miss World, 
and the charity work that we do, the outreach that we do with various communities, all of a sudden it becomes clearer to them that it is a lot more than being just a pretty face or just working in the quintessential beauty pageant. There is so much more to Miss World and that is something that I want to bring across to other people as well. And what qualities do you think you must possess to be able to represent Trinidad and Tobago and win on the international stage? First and foremost, you need to have a lot of discipline and a lot of dedication. Training is very grueling. In addition to the regular training schedule that we have, you also have to fit in your full-time job, your gym sessions. There's a lot of admin that goes into this role that people need to be aware about and need to be fully committed to. And I think you also have a very strong sense of self. You need to be able to roll with the punches, uh, take criticism and take direction, but do not let it sway you and do not let it pull you down. You have to use the best part of constructive criticism to help you to grow. What do you think, if you win this competition and go on to represent Trinidad and Tobago in China, what do you think you can show the world to say that, you know, we should win this competition? What I would love to showcase about Trinidad is our diversity. As a country, we have so many different communities and we all live together peacefully. We have the greatest show on earth, Carnival. We have beautiful beaches. There is so much that we can offer as a nation. In terms of tourism, those are the types of things that I would like to promote. And would you be able to continue that promotion after Miss World? Definitely. I think that social media affords us an outlet to continue our own personal promotions and our own personal charity work outside of official institutions and organizations and that's the beautiful thing about technology and by all means yes well I want to say good luck to you in this competition but before I leave I need to ask you to tell me what you would say to your your fellow competitors in this competition if they're listening on to you now what would you say to them best of luck everyone I think everyone has really great strengths that they can draw on to do the best that they can do in this competition and it's been a real pleasure working with everyone and learning from each other on this journey. All right. Well thank you very much Miss Isabel Bisnath, 25 years old, Port of Spain West. That was Miss Bisnath there chatting with us a little bit about herself as she vies to become the representative from Trinidad and Tobago at the Miss World competition.